taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys, and it's not going to be a nice video that I'm going to have to make right now. Um, update on Yield Robots uh, that has rugged. Okay, funds have been drained from the contract and they've been clowning the community. Okay, Rely Fund, or well, you know, Rely Fund, uh, the funds are still in the contract, but the website is down. So we'll take a quick look at that in a minute. Okay, but Yield Robot. Right, the funds have been drained from the contract. That is now on zero. And then, you know, I actually, you know, wrote a message in a telegram earlier to say, look, while well, the funds have been drained from the contract, and then they actually deleted me. And um, they kind of left this message. Or, or they deleted the whole telegram. And they kind of left a note to say rugged in blocked. Uh, well, not block capitals, but bold letters. All right, guys, so... Thieves, um, it's another scam after Circulate Finance. You know, I was I was actually warned um, that this might happen when we saw all of this business, this, uh, you know, put a $1,000 minimum and get a 30% coupon. No one's going to give you $300 for free, especially not, you know, hundreds or thousands of people $300 for free. And then we kind of saw that coming. I've got uh, a member in my Telegram group who's kind of good at tracking these things down and, you know, he hits me up in DM and he says, look, I know it's this about this and that and blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know, I'm not going to put no more money in the old world. But fortunately, I only put a thousand dollars into this project. So, you know, but nobody wants to lose a thousand dollars. I don't want to lose a hundred dollars to any scam projects or any thief, to be honest. But, you know, don't risk more than what you can afford to lose is what we always say. And, um, you know, this is just another unfortunate situation in this crypto space these guys are clearly not who they say they are they done amas with james pelt and amas with fud farmer and so on but of course it was all a fallacy right they're frauds and this is evident that you know they've they've run off with the money scammed the contract and so on all right guys so rely fund um quick update on that like i said the funds are in a contract it's still 532 thousand dollars in the contract which looks about right but if you try to log onto the website you will get met with this um some people have said that it still works for them and maybe you need a vpn but um you know for the rest of us it's not actually working um but they have updated us um the most recent uh, message we got in telegram is with the site being down don't forget you can interact with the contract directly. You can still withdraw re uh, rewards sorry, through the contract. All the funds are still there. If anybody has a YouTube channel or whatever and wants to quickly make a tutorial um, for everyone to use, thanks. Um, basically, if you don't know how to do this, right? Um, if you go to the contract, I'll leave a link to, to the contract in the description, right? I'll just keep refreshing it because I'm actually keeping an eye on the contract, right? But all you do is you come to the contract, come over to contracts. When you come on, it will say transactions, move over to contract. And then what you do is you click on write contract. You connect your wallet, your MetaMask wallet or your Web3 wallet, okay? And just simply come over to claim, press write and confirm it in your metamask and you'll be able to claim your rewards but remember rewards are once every seven days so if it's not been seven days you're not gonna be able to claim it yet okay guys but um hopefully the website will be back up and running for this another one of the concerns that we had um with this happening right is um i've been out all day literally i'm, I'm just coming home to all of this right i've been out with the wife getting her a new car doing all that sort of stuff right but come home to all of this drama and, um, you know, it's a bit of a, it's kind of ruined my day a little bit, okay, but, um, yeah, they are keeping us uh, updated uh, in the Telegram and on the Discord, but they have muted it at the moment, okay, um, this is the reason why, alright guys, now, at the end of the day, I don't work for this team, uh, I don't know whether this is going to scam out or nothing, I'm hoping that it don't, because I really like it, okay, but uh, this is what came in at 9.45 a.m. UK time or UTC, whatever. Um, uh, hello or hey, Real Life fam. Hopefully everyone is doing well. I'm sorry to announce that our very own Brandon has been in an unfortunate accident earlier last evening. Don't worry, it's not fatal or life-threatening. 
but the severity of his injuries are unknown. We are just told that he will be okay, but pretty roughed up. We'll keep him in our prayers. We just wanted to keep everyone up to speed and so on. And this is on the day that he's supposed to actually dox himself, right? So a bit of FUD came in on that. And not long after that, probably around 1 a.m. Um, well, not 1 a.m., right? Um, it was 12, yeah, 1 a.m., right? So it says, as you may see, our website is experiencing some technical problems and is down for a short time. No need to panic or worry. Everyone's funds are safe. We just need to get the site up and running and so on. We'll keep everyone posted. And then fast forward a few hours later, after that, of course, those two announcements, there was going to be some FUD, right? So they said, although previous announcements have explained our website situation, it still caused unnecessary confusion and panicking amongst the community for this reason we've decided we're going to temporarily turn off the comments and user posts within the community of course they'll be reopened once we fix the issues all funds are safe no need to worry again we apologize and so on all right guys and uh, lastly the recent something else just came in from one of the mods actually also feel free to dm me i'm not ghosting anybody i'll answer as best i can so yeah, a little bit of uncertainty in the Rely Fund uh, situation, okay? But the, the funds are still there in a contract as opposed to the yield robot where that's been completely drained. So, um, you know, I do recommend going to BSC Scan and removing the token approvals on BUSD for yield robot. But with Rely Fund, um, the funds are still in a contract. So that is definitely, you know, something that we want to continue to see we don't want to see this go to zero so i'm going to leave the link in the description for that but yield robot you know i think they had about 3.2 million or something like that in the contract and of course they've run off with it prophetic but guys hate to be the bearer of bad news but um you know just keeping you updated let me know what you think in the comments um yeah that's about it for this video subscribe to the channel like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm, guys. I'll see you in the next video.